Hello and thank you for watching another one of my videos. In today's post, I'm going to talk about tramadol and the indications and warnings associated with it. This is a synthetic opioid analgesic with a centrally acting mechanism. It is an atypical opioid that relieves pain in addition to the opioid mechanism by which it normally works. It can be purchased in the form of injection or tablets from a number of different brands on the market. What are the potential negative effects that it could have? These are some of the side effects. The following symptoms are examples of common adverse effects. Constipation, itching and nausea, respiratory depression, dry mouth and drowsiness, hallucinations, seizures, an increased risk of serotonin syndrome, decreased alertness, and potential addiction to drugs are some of the serious side effects that may occur. Now let's talk about how it's used and how much of it you should take. Tramadol is prescribed for mild to moderate pain that is only temporary due to diagnostic procedures, injury, surgery, and other such events. It is also used for chronic pain, such as the pain associated with cancer, but it is ineffective for severe pain. There is a negligible propensity for dose escalation among chronic users, and the potential for abuse is low. It can be administered intravenously, by IV, intramuscularly, IM, or orally, in the form of a tablet, with dosages ranging from 50 to 100 mg oral slash IM slash slow IV infusion for children, 1 to 2 IM peak. 4 to 6 the following are appropriate indications for the use of tramadol. It is possible that people who have certain genetic variations of the CUIP2D6 enzymes, which are responsible for converting tramadol into an inactive molecule, will not experience sufficient pain relief when taking tramadol. At the moment, clinical practice does not involve the routine testing of patients for these genetic polymorphisms. Due to the potential for serotonin syndrome, it should not be administered to patients who are undergoing SSRI treatment. And individuals who have an extreme sensitivity to opioids, we appreciate you taking the time to watch the video.